so in today's video i'll be crocheting a flower cardigan which is also inspired by a um, miracle handmade i'll have your link listed down below so basically this company is uh, about like this sustainable knitwear based i think in turkey and their price range is from 130 to 250 plus i guess so um which is quite a hefty price tag but of course it should be because it's a 100% handmade product so um in this video i thought i'll be attempting to crochet uh, my own version of a flower cardigan so i actually got my yarns from spotlight uh, this is from the mail bag so i wouldn't know exactly what the labels are so i got two of these and um i've been but i've been doing research actually like to find out what exactly these are and i think they are king cole's uh super chunky uh yarn i will insert a picture here or here um because i think like based on how it's plied and also the fuzz is coming out of it i think that is 100% acrylic and also no 90% acrylic sorry 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca so um i actually started on my cardigan today so i've actually only crocheted one of the sleeve i'll be sharing with you like um the hooks the hook size i'll be using and also like all the other things so this is how it's looking like and yeah i'll just film my progress and how the stitches i'll be using as well so this is not a tutorial by the way it's just like a vlog of me trying to yeah make my own flower cut again okay so this is how the yarn looks like um i'm pretty sure it's the timeless uh, it's King Cole's Timeless Super Chunky Acrylic Alpaca Blend because I've been doing a lot of research on this and this is like the closest I can find and on camera it looks a bit of brown but it's actually this beautiful like dusty light pink colour um, yeah it's kind of gloomy outside today so the hook size I'll be using is 5.5 um, for the ribbing and also 6.5 for the rest of the cardigan so um i actually did added this detail as well this kind of gives it like a folded kind of effect which i thought it would be cute i don't know how it actually turn out but um yeah i will just see how it goes and so far i've already i'm almost completing my first sleeve and i'll just update again as and when i'm done by the way, I just want to pop in and mention that I will not be um, rushing on this cardigan. So I will not be putting in the number of days I uh, I took to crochet and stuff because I don't want to pressure myself. Um, yeah, so I'll just be updating on like the stitches and like on the updates, I guess, day by day or as and when I complete the cardigan. Hi, so I'm actually going to go out in a bit but I thought I would just pop in to show with you my current progress and stuff so i've completed one sleeve um the both front panels and this is the back panel the back panel measures a total of 41 uh, cm i wanted the cardigan to be of a longer sleeve so um for this project i made it like 41 cm as well and then for the front panels uh the length for each panel is about 24 to 25 cm um, I'll be adding like some ribbing as well at the front and also at the bottom here
Okay, so this is how the cardigan looks so far. I did these um, puff flowers earlier this morning. I used Lion Brands Pima Cotton in the center. And uh, for the petals, it is Lion Brands 24-7 Cotton. So the texture is actually a bit different, if you can tell. Um, so I'll be actually sewing these flowers uh, onto this cardigan. And I haven't actually sewed in the... Um, the excess yarn so i'll be doing that too i think it will be just fine if i put these three flowers at the corner of the cardigan i don't want to put it on the sleeves because the sleeves really have like this puffy detail so i don't want to do that i just i think i'll just put like these three so six flowers in this cardigan i also wanted to show you guys these clothing tags which i got from shopee imported from indonesia so um, you can totally customize your words and whatever things that uh, you want to put on it. So I'll be actually sewing one of these to this cardigan, like at the top here. Mine is florally crochet handcrafted in Singapore, um, but you can actually customize your words, the fonts, the font size, and I think even the color. I, but you can actually inquire them as well. I'll have all the links listed down below. So I'm actually done with my cardigan and this is how it looks like. Uh, at the front panels, I added like three daisies because I mean the original cardigan had like daisies all over or like flowers all over but I want something more, slightly more wearable. So I only added like three flowers at the front panels and it makes like a, like an L shape. Then for my sleeves, I kind of miscounted it uh, when I did my first sleeve. So my second sleeve appeared more puffy but I mean I hope it's not that obvious for the whole cardigan I just used two kind of crochet hooks one is a 5.5 and a 6.5 um, for the ribbings it is with this 5.5 mm hook and then for the whole of the cardigan it's 6.5 so and for these rows uh, the last two rows it's just single crochets or two two rows of single crochets and this is the ribbing of like um, 10 cm and the puff sleeves, I basically just um, increase and I'm to that decrease so it gives this kind of effect. 